Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to do a full face of Wet n Wild. Well, almost a full face. I don't have a brow product or a concealer from Wet n Wild, so I'll use something else. But the rest will be all Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild. <laughs> products. Um, I mentioned in my last haul video that I got these on well.ca so if you're in Canada and you're looking for more Wet n Wild products because we don't have everything in store you can find them on well.ca um, and they do get some of the new stuff too so yeah just thought I'd mention that but first what am I doing? I already have my skincare on um, and for a primer I got like a two-in-one product because I didn't really see another primer that has like super good reviews from Wet n Wild so I just got the Wet n... I'm gonna stop saying Wet n Wild <laughs> because all the products are Wet n Wild um, but I got the Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water this here so I thought I could use this as a primer and after to set my makeup and I have already tried this out um, I like it so far it's a very wet spray so if you don't like that you probably won't like this one but it doesn't feel like super greasy or oily or anything so and the smell is not like super fake coconut it smells like pretty good at least to me but I love coconut scents so there's that I'm just gonna use that as my primer because like I said I already have my skincare on so it should be pretty moisturized already and for the foundation so um I already mentioned this on my channel I can't remember if I used it on camera already. It's the Photo Focus uh, Dewy Foundation. So there is the original version of this, which I think is just called Photo Focus Foundation. But this one is the new Dewy one. Well, it's not that new anymore, but it's the newer one of the, the line. So I never got the first one because I didn't hear like the best reviews on that. A lot of people liked it at first I feel and then they didn't. I don't know. <laughs> but when this one came out, everyone that has dry skin that I watch on YouTube like Kathleen Lights, um, yeah a lot of people, they really like this one so I thought I would like it. I honestly don't remember anything about this so yeah, this is kind of like a first impressions <laughs> because I don't remember anything. But the um, packaging, it's like a paddle. So either you could put it directly on your face or on a sponge, whatever. I don't mind just putting it directly on my face. I think I'm just going to go with that amount for now. Oh. I wanted to see if it smelled funny. No, because everyone was saying that the first foundation smelled like paint. This one, not so much. So I'm gonna use a sponge, just my regular Real Techniques sponge. I think Wet n Wild has really good brushes too though, but I just can't uh, justify <laughs> buying more brushes. I have so many. So, so far it's pretty um, sheer, so I think I might put some more on and see if it's buildable. I hope my, uh, my setup is better in this video. I noticed in my last videos I like disappear into the corner and you can't even see what I'm doing. So yeah, I fixed the way my camera is set up so I hope it's better. I don't know. Oh, I didn't see The shade is Soft Ivory. And I feel like um, probably going into the winter, it's going to be better. But right now, it's maybe like a shade too light for me. 
So there's just with the small amount that I um, put on, it looks um, really nice and dewy like it's supposed to. Um, but I think I do want to add just a bit more just to see if it builds. I will say this packaging is probably going to get very messy because it's already like all around the outside if you can see. It blends super easily though. Like it's already just smooth on my skin. I don't like to put too much product on my forehead because it's already a huge space but um, that's where I have like some lines and I find that product will settle in if I use too much. So I think that's looking really good so far. It doesn't even look um, makeup-y at all. So already like I can compare this to the Rare Beauty Foundation that I used in my last video. That one I could see it like sitting on my skin at this point. But this one it's like really nice and seamless. So there's the foundation. Um, so like I said, I don't have a Wet n Wild concealer. Do they even make concealer? I feel like, I mean they must, but I don't, I can't think of any of their concealers, like what they look like or anything. So I'm going to use actually the rest of the sample from the Rare Beauty concealer because I have like so much of it left and I want to try it uh, with a different foundation. So. I guess this is like a little bonus update on Rare Beauty because look at all this product I still have in here. I kept it shut with a paper clip so I hope it's still, uh, you know, the same consistency. And I'm going to use my Sephora Airbrush Detail Brush to blend it in. I thought this concealer would be a good choice for this foundation because they're both like dewy kind of luminous finishes and um, yeah when I wore this in my Rare Beauty wear test it it was so dewy <laughs> on my under eye like it looked like I had put foundation there. I'm not going to put too much because I want to see like how the actual foundation performs so if I put too much concealer on then I won't know what is making that, making it look like that, you know? But I'll just cover this spot here because it's bothering me. In the concealer I have the shade 160C in case you're wondering. For my bronzer, I'm actually going to use the Wet n Wild Cushion, no, Mega Cushion Contour. I know it's a contour product, but to me, the shade of this is more of a bronzer, at least on my skin. So um, it comes with this little poof, but I don't use it because it, I feel like it's too dense. But this is the product. So to me, that's very warm. For something to be called a contour because usually a contour shade is more like a cool tone so I'm just gonna use this as my bronzer I want to try it with my um, duo fiber brush from BH Cosmetics it's the 109 I've never tried it with this brush before but I just I'm curious so I just dipped it in a few times Oh dear, that might have been a lot. <laughs> but um, I have used this already like in my spare time and it did like blend really nicely so I'm not too concerned. But you see what I mean? Like this is totally a bronzer shade to me. Is there shade to this? I don't think, I think there's only one, which like is not that great for, you know, inclusivity, but 
it's an okay shade for me and I think if you have a medium skin tone this would still like show up pretty well because it's it's pretty dark so I think it looks pretty good um, yeah it looked like I had a lot on when I first applied it but I think you can see like it doesn't look too too dark it blend it doesn't look patchy or anything at least not in person <laughs> you never know on camera but I think I like this I feel like it's really easy to use because some like liquid bronzers and stuff you have to be like super careful how you apply them but this I feel like is pretty user friendly and it's super cheap because it's wet and wild. So for blush, um, I'm actually going to use this, I think, as my blush and my highlighter. It's the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter. So it's supposed to be like a two-in-one kind of thing. I have the shade Highlight Bling. I have not opened this even, so I don't know. This is going to be a first impressions on this. It just took me like forever to get open. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I'm pretty excited about this but I haven't seen anyone else talk about this really so who knows. But yeah I guess the idea is like you use it um, as your blush and your highlight and you can mix them together. Or just use this for blush and this for highlight, which I think I'm going to do. I hope it's not too metallic. So it says, blush and highlighter duo instantly sculpts and highlights for a full-on strobe effect. Let's watch it. Oh, it's very soft. Oh dear, that could be a bit much. That's the shade there. And then the more blushy shade is here. Mm. Yeah, um, they both feel like the same consistency. So I think I'm gonna use a really light hand and see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna try it first with my Luxie 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. Because it's like really flimsy and I think it will apply like a light hand, I hope. So I'm going to go in with the blushier side. It's quite powdery. I don't know if that's doing much. I can see like the highlight. But I don't see like a blush tone, if you know what I mean. Oh, maybe. Does that look good? I don't know. I think this, I would use this more like as a topper, like a blush topper because it's not like the the shade is not really reflecting on the skin it's more like yeah it's coming off like a highlighter really so yeah normally i like something with a bit more like vibrant for my blush but it looks like really nice it's not glittery which is good i was worried like because when I put the brush in the pan, it like kicked up a lot and I thought like I might get glitter everywhere, but no, it looks pretty smooth. Um, for the highlight, I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use my Milani All Over Blending brush. I'm just going to tap it. Oh yeah, see? I just tapped it one time and I got all of that product. So... Okay, 
tree. Maybe a bit more. I can see it on the skin. Yeah, I think you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a, a little powdery, but not too much. But you know like those highlighters that are like the big gelée formula? Like they're very like soft and smooth. This one is more powdery than that, but it looks nice on the skin. It's quite icy though. This shade. Okay. <laughs> it looks like it went on a lot more on this side. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. Okay, so this can build and get very metallic. So if you don't like that, you might not just want to put a lot on. I'm just going <laughs> to try to blend a little of that away because that was like a Tin Man situation. I'm just going to buff it a little. I kind of like it though. I look very glisteny. So that's it for the skin. I'm liking how it looks so far. Uh, the foundation is so nice. It's not like settling into my pores uh, like the Rare Beauty one. <laughs> At least not yet. So um, we'll see how it wears. But so far it looks really good. So, for my eyes, um, this is not new at all. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Comfort Zone palette. This is like an OG on YouTube, but this is a new formula. So, they used to have um, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, they used to have eight pan palettes, which was just like this part. Supposedly the same shades. Um, but when they reformulated it, they came out with these like smaller, slimmer ones and they added two shades on the top and the bottom, which um, one is like a transition shade. It says transition. Oh, they're both transition shades actually. Just one is lighter and one is deeper. So I have never used this. <laughs> it looks like I've opened it, but I don't even think I swatched this. So these are the shades. It looks really nice. Um, this is totally like a YouTube main, made me buy it situation. Cause when I first started watching YouTube, everyone was like, whenever they were asked like, what's your favorite drugstore um, palette or like your holy grail. And it was always the wet and wild comfort zone. So that's why I bought this and but also these are just colors that I like anyway. So we're going to use this today. Um, there's no matte like cream color. This shade here is sh kind of shimmery. So I'm not going to put that like all over my lid. I think I'll just go right in with the transition shade, this one here. This has no name on it, but it's from a Moda, a Royal and Langnickel Moda set that I got in a boxy charm. Okay, so right away there's a lot of kick up in the pan, which is fine. Wow. That's uh, a lot of pigment right away. <laughs> right off the bat. I really like this transition shade for me. It's more on the warm side, but I like warm. I like warm and cool shades, so I could go 
either way really that was super easy to blend i guess i'll use the other shade um to deepen up the crease so i need a smaller brush i'm gonna use my aveda six number six brush i love this brush it's so soft That's really nice too. I really like those two colors so far. Super easy to blend. And pigmented. And I'm really using like a light hand too. So I think I'm just gonna continue with one eye and I'll do the other off camera just to save some time. I know like all my videos are so long. I don't know <laughs> what it is. Am I not editing enough? Like, I don't know. They're all like 40 plus minutes. So I'll try to make a quicker video. I really want to use this shade. I think it's like a duochrome. Yeah, it's one of those like, yeah, it's one of those like green brown kind of shades. Oh, it looks so pretty. I want to put that all over the lid. I need like a flat, dense brush for this. I think I always use this brush and it's unfortunate because it doesn't have a name. It's from Tarte and I th I'm pretty sure I got this like as a free gift when I bought a palette from their website, I think. But it's just really good because it's super flat and dense, which like is a good kind of brush to pick up shimmer shades. So I'm just going to go in with a dry first just to see how it goes. But I might wet it. <gasps> mm, that's so pretty. It's like a beetle. Like a beetle's body. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't like bugs at all, so I don't really know if that's what a beetle looks like, but that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, I kind of, like the shimmer part of it didn't kind of blended a bit away, so let's try and spray the brush. I guess I should have sprayed the brush first, but whatever. I'm just going to use the... Um, same primer spray. Oh, yeah, that's way better. I could have even like used my finger, but my nails are quite long right now, so not the easiest. That's really pretty. I really like that. So, yeah, I think you can even see on camera. How it's like a green brown shift kind of thing. I hope you saw that. I'm just gonna go back in with that darker transition shade just on the outer corner. And then with my fluffy brush. And then for the lower lash line, um, I kind of want to put the same shades. I'm going to first go back with the lighter transition shade and then the darker one. With this little pencil brush, this is a Luxie 141 mini round brush. I'm going to spray it. Actually, no. I'm going to put the the same shade on this brush and then spray it because I don't want to get the pan like all wet. I don't want to bring it in like all the way into the corner, so I'm just doing like the middle part of the of my eye. That looks like a bad explanation. I just mean like I'm not going all the way to the edge. 
if you know what I mean. I'm very happy with this so far. This is performing like a high-end palette, I feel. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use that light shimmer shade here with my usual Aveda brush. There is like some kick up from the other shades that like went into this one, but it looks like it just came off okay. So I'm gonna put that on the inner corner and bring it down here just to add some light. And with any excess, I just like to put it on my like right in the middle here of my brow bone. I did get a Wet n Wild mascara, this one here. This is the Mega Length Mascara. It says New Look Improved Formula. I've never tried this before, so I don't know how it compares, but it's in the shade Very Black. It says Boost Length. 9 out of 10 saw longer looking lashes. Yay. I like lengthening mascaras. Usually I like them more than volumizing mascaras because I find whenever mascara is volumizing, it means like it's clumpy <laughs> and I hate that. So I like the tube. It's a really nice color. So this has a um, plastic brush, which I'm not always a super fan of. This is what it looks like. Oh, it, the bristles are super short. So let's just see. I'm just gonna go right in. I'm scared. Okay, yeah. It's quite stiff. There's like hardly any product on the brush. Ow. I already stabbed myself. That's why I don't like these kind of brushes all the time. They're just so pokey. I mean, it is coating my lashes though. And lengthening, and it's not clumpy, which is good. Wow. That looks pretty good, right? This would probably be a really good lower lash mascara because it's so, look at how thin like this wand is. And the bristles are so short, so they don't like get everywhere. But at the same time, because they're so short, you really have to like press into your lashes to get them coated. I think you can see. <laughs> Yeah, definitely see the difference. Um, my lashes are super light, so you can barely see them when I don't have mascara on. I really like how that looks so far. But yeah, it definitely is not like a two-in-one, like a volumizing and lengthening. It's really only lengthening mascara, but I don't really mind that. See, look how long they look. They're like almost touching my eyebrow. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to do the other eye off camera and I'll do my brows at the same time and then we'll come back to do the lip. Okay, that got a little more <laughs> dramatic than I meant it to. I added a bit more of the darker transition shade just like to give some more definition and like sort of like a winged out effect but yeah, that's it for the eyes. For the lips, I've already used this on my channel before, so it's nothing new, but I really like this Wet n Wild. What do they call these again? I don't know what this is called, but it's these ones <laughs> in the white tube with the lips. It's kind of like a Pat McGrath kind of vibe. Um, I have the shade Close Off, and this is super nice and creamy. And I just love the shade. It's a really nice nude um, for my skin tone. And it's not too pink, which I like. I think I want to do something with my hair. 
I don't know. Does it matter? I just feel like a bit unfinished because that blush was really not a blush. It was, like I said, a blush topper or even just to mix in with the highlight to make it more like pinky but yeah I feel like I am missing some blush here and it's just a lot of glow but I do really like how my skin looks the foundation I think is like my favorite thing on my face um, but I really like the eyeshadow too I think like yeah you could do a really more like a more subtle look if you just stuck with like these shades here but these ones really like amp it up and if you like greens and browns like you'll definitely like this and these are really inexpensive even though i don't like this as a blush i still think it looks really nice as a highlight and like i said it's not glittery or anything it was a little powdery but it doesn't look powdery on the face, which I like. And the cushion contour, like I said, it's more of a bronzer, but I really like this too. I think I like everything. Oh, I didn't set my face with this. Yeah, the trick with this is to hold it very far away from your face or else you'll get drenched. Oh, and the mascara, um, it really did lengthen my lashes, but I don't know if, I feel like they're already falling down a bit, and I just, like, finished applying it, so I don't know. I'll have to leave you an update on how that goes, but, um, yeah, if you want a really, like, lengthening mascara that will help to define your lashes I think you would like this one and for the lower lashes too unless you're someone who really likes a lot of volume like a thick lash look then you'll hate this but for me it, it works fine and especially for the price it's really good I think I'm going to attempt to do something with my hair I don't know guys I tried to <laughs> I tried to do something with my hair, but it's just, I just need a haircut, so yeah, that's all. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!